So Israel has an interesting history in terms of labor unions. Uh, the early uh, immigrants to Israel, the early Zionist thinkers who came uh, in the beginning from Europe motivated by ideas of building a homeland for the Jewish people, they were also motivated by very utopian ideas that were prevalent in Europe in the 19th century and very socialist ideas. So they thought that they were not just going to build here a homeland for the Jewish people. They were not just concerned about the state and the sovereignty. They were concerned about building a perfect state, a place that would subscribe to the utopian ideals. And what they said is that here we have the opportunity to build things from the ground up. We don't have to kill aristocrats. We don't have to take their land. We don't have to engage in a revolution. So early, the early immigrants talked about constructive socialism. This is socialism that is not revolutionary. This is socialism that from the ground up, you build a utopian, egalitarian society. And a lot of the first settlements were collective farms, like the kibbutzim and the moshevim. And also, a lot of the first factories were started by the employees because of the notion of owning the means of production. So in the beginning, in Israel, you had labor unions who actually owned factories. And quickly, they formed a federation of labor unions. And the federation of labor unions became the most powerful force in the pre-state years. So from the beginning of the 20th century to 1948. And uh, Ben-Gurion, who's Israel's first prime minister, he was for many years the head of the Federation of the Labor Unions. So labor ideas, labor unions were very dominant in Israel in the pre-state years, and certainly for the first 30 to 40 years of its existence. Uh, so it's not as if you have the union of metal workers or the union of that. Uh, they're all essentially federated under the Federation of Labor Unions. You have a labor union for each place, the electric company, the airport. But the notion was that uh, the Federation helps them reach results better because, for example, Israel, for all intents and purposes, is an island. And the airport is very, very important to Israelis. So if the, labor, if the union of the airport workers closes down the airport, you can reach an agreement on a factory up north that's about to be closed. So the notion is that they work as a federation and are employed as a federation in order to achieve various goals. Over the years, as the Israeli economy moved from more centralized, socialist, collectivist economy to a capitalist open one, the labor union sold most of its assets. So today, the labor unions are not owners of factories as they used to be. They just represent employees. Um, but and again, they've changed their style in recent years. In the past, they were associated with the megaphones and the burning of tires and uh, the, um, the strikes. And now they're much more associated with negotiations, round table. And the current chair of the labor union, who is a labor party member, is actually uh, very chummy with the supposedly pro-capitalism, pro-business, pro-privatization prime minister. And they've developed this notion of round table and trying to come to an agreement and to avoid strikes as much as possible. I mean, one of the fascinating things that happened in Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, the current prime minister, was finance minister under Ariel Sharon in the Likud government. And there, Israel, because of the cycle of violence, Israel was in a very deep crisis. He was associated with cutting welfare very sharply and with privatizing a lot of assets. So when he became prime minister, a lot of people felt that he would continue with this program. And what happened is that in the course of the negotiations to establish a coalition government with labor, uh, he sat down with the head of the labor union and turned out to, be, to have moved away from the very sharp cuts in welfare and from his views at the time. And he moved more to an idea of negotiated solutions to 
labor problems in Israel. And that's right now, this is the spirit in which things are working.